Hi guys, uh, first of all, I apologize for not having a Tuesday video. I made one before I left the house, and when I got back home, the video wasn't up, and then I was like, I just make one on Thursday. Anyway, I wasn't gonna make, if I was gonna make one on Tuesday, I wasn't gonna make one on Thursday, because honestly, I don't have much to say. I don't really know what to say at all. I mean, uh, uh, the last three weeks I've just been on here floundering saying, well, we can, the door's still open, uh, but we've got to come out and play different than we have all year, blah, blah, blah. And this week it's the same story, the same exact story. The door's still open. You know, New York Giants pretty much, you know, got control of the NFC East, if, especially if they win next week. But at the same time, Seattle probably are maybe losing their corners. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Uh, Minnesota lost, and their schedule looks tough. You know, um, uh, New Orleans lost, Tampa Bay lost. So all the teams that was going for that sixth spot lost. So we're still in the mix for that sixth spot. However, we're not playing as good as, as some of those teams that, that are vying for that right now. So we've got, again, blah, blah, blah. We've got to come out and play different than we have all year. Um... We might be in some dark days right now, people. This might be some of the darkest days since, you know, during the Campo years when we were such a mediocre team that we couldn't take it. I mean, we wasn't, we, we never got really bad enough to get a golden draft pick, but we were, we were not good enough to make a run in the playoffs. And I think that we're at that stage right now, except we have some, you know, some, some big names on the team. But however, we're still, and, average football team that, you know, uh, not bad enough to get us any picks. I mean, you can't be mad, mad because we are that horrible because there are teams out there in worse shape. I mean, look at Philadelphia. You know what I'm saying? They're in, I mean, they were expecting to be a dynasty and fell apart, I mean, almost immediately. So uh, they're, they're in bad shape right now if you're a Philadelphia fan. So you can't feel like that. I don't feel like this This is the pregame for the, uh, video for Philadelphia I don't feel like they're going to give us much a fight. I, you know, I told you earlier about teams that, you know, that, that typically quit toward the end of the football year. I feel like uh, Philadelphia will probably quit really soon, probably during this game, you know, and, and, and just start cleaning house and doing what you do at the end of the season to get ready for the next. But uh, we're not in that shape. However, man, I mean, some people that thought that game with Washington was close is, it wasn't, in my opinion. It wasn't. It wasn't close. You know what I'm saying? The the score may have looked close at the end, but the game, man. I mean, when they had it turned on, we they looked here and we looked here. So take take from that what you want. Um, and also the reason why these days are dark is uh, our stars. At the end of last year, I was like, uh, you know, a lot of you guys were really upset last year. And I started out the year upset. You know, you thought this year Shango was mad. Last year Shango was madder and just didn't make any rant videos. But uh, th this year, I, 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 I came in with a little more hope because last year I was like, whoa, geez, we've got some studs up here with Sean Lee, my favorite player in the entire universe, um, DeMarco Murray. Uh, uh, Bruce Carter. Oh, so we got some young, y young studs on this team, man. Let, let's build on these mugs. But uh, we refuse to do that. We refuse to do that. And now I don't even know if you can do that. You, do you know what I'm saying? They're always injured. If, if you're like me, when Bruce Carter was was looking as good as he was looking, now I kind of I kind of uh, gave you a little indication of how good he was out there in training camp, but uh, he he amazed me out there in the football field. I was like, this guy is absolutely amazing. Is he gonna get hurt? Cause that's the only way I can uh, process somebody being that good that fell that far far in the draft. That you know, you know what I'm saying. I mean, he was he he was better than everybody out there in the football field. He looked straight up nasty. Bruce Carter did. So uh. You don't know how much you're gonna have this guy. He 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 gets hurt. He, he gets hurt, and we knew it when we got him. Sean Lee, my favorite player in the entire universe, gets hurt. Gets hurt. Demarco Murray, I think we're gonna have him back this week, finally. But all three of them have missed major portions of this season. 
I mean, you can't be like these are our corner stores of our, our our of our organization when you might lose all three in a season like this year. You know what I'm saying? You got that. Then you have the Tony Romo thing of paying him money. You know, you don't if you 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 got to pay Tony Romo. You know what I'm saying? Because this ain't his fault. You know, like like that has anything to do with it. But you, you, you're going to pay Tony Romo and you still won't be able to have a line for him. And that's your major gripe that he doesn't go do good because he doesn't have an offensive line. The offensive line, bad. There's a lot of bad offensive lines in the NFL. But that's, that's your excuse for Tony. There's no way. I mean, we thought we were going to be good at tackle. And we're not. We're not good at tackle. Tyron needs to be back over the right. We need a legit left tackle. And the interior... It's just not good. And you saw the money that we spent on free. You saw the money that we spent on those guards. And it's like, we're not going to be able to spend enough money, especially with, with, with Tony's contract and the uh, $50 million corner. There's no way we're going to be able to get, you know, pay for enough talent to be a good, you know, front line for Tony Romo. So, I mean, I I, I don't understand. Then, then you got the defensive uh uh, a side of the ball that doesn't get pressure up front. We just got one guy that really does it. Anthony Spencer's having a great year. I I completely suspect it's got a lot to do with it being a contract year, but he he's having a great year. And, but I don't feel like he has any kind of uh, devotion to the Cowboys where he'll give us a deal because he already told us he wants wear money. So I don't see him giving us a deal for the, for the future or whatnot. So we'll if we have him, we're gonna have to pay him a toll bunch of money. If we don't have him, we're going to be losing a serious uh, pass rusher over there to get the... I mean, it, it just looks bad all the way around. And I don't know what to say right now. I hope things, you know, every week, you know, I'm hoping everything just changes and so, oh, Cowboys got it together now and all this stuff that, that we were worried about, you know, clears up. But I just don't see it happening. I don't. So oh yeah, I'm going to um, I'll make another video after the game, but then I think I don't know when I'm gonna make a video because I'm going to Puerto Rico, so I don't know if I'll be able to make videos on my phone or whatever. But uh, I'll, I'll I'll do what I can in these next two weeks. Wifey has me flying all over the place, but uh, I'll be able to see the game and I will make after game videos wherever I'm at. All right, I'll let you later. Peace.